In this video, we're going to look at finding slope and writing linear equations given either slope and a point or two points. So, let's go ahead and remember that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We can use that in order to find what we need to make the equation from either a slope and a point or two points. So, um, let's start with this one first. We have our m and we've got two points. Remember, an ordered pair is in the form x, y. So we were given an x and we're given a y. We can fill those things in and then solve for b. And then once we have our m and our b, we can write an equation. So let's go ahead and do so. We put in our y, which in this case is 6. So we have 6 equals, put in our m, which is negative 3, our x, which is negative 5, and then plus b. Okay? And we can solve that equation for b. We go ahead and simplify. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15 plus b. Then to get that b by itself, we go ahead and subtract 15 from both sides. And then we have 6 minus 15, which is negative 9, equals b. Now, the two things I need to write a linear equation are the slope and the y-intercept. I now have those. I was given the slope, and I found the y-intercept. So I can write my equation. We just want to leave the y and the x. Sometimes people want to pop in those that x and y that we were given, but we want to leave those as the variables because that gives us the power of the equation. Um, so we're just going to have y equals put in our m, which is negative 3, oops, I didn't want to do that, x, and then plus b, the b we found to be negative 9, so minus 9. So a line with a slope of negative 3 through the point negative 5, 6 is this one right here, y equals negative 3x minus 9. Let's take a look at another one. The we're given a slope of one half, and we want the line to go through the point for negative 10. So we'll fill in what we're given again into that y equals mx plus b equation. y in this case is negative 10 equals our slope, which is one half. Our x is 4 plus b. Now we just go ahead and simplify and solve. So negative 10 equals 1 half times 4. Well, that's two fractions we're multiplying. On top, we get 1 times 4 is 4. Bottom, 2 times 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is just 2 plus b. Then get that b by itself. So subtract 2 from both sides. And we find that negative 12 is equal to b. Now we have our b and our m, so we can go ahead and fill those in. Remember, we leave out the specific values for y and x, and we just have our y and our x. Remember, because there's infinite values for those that x and y. y equals m, which is 1 half, times x, plus b. In this case, b is minus 12. So a line with a slope of 1 half through the point for negative 10 is right here. Alright, now sometimes we're given two points and asked to write a line that would go through those two points. The first thing that we need to do is find the slope. Remember the equation to find slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And don't be too concerned about the sub 1s and the sub 2s. Just know that you need to subtract them in the same order. So if I take this y first, then I also need to take this x first. If I take this y first, I also need to take this x first. You have to do it in the same order. So I go ahead. Let me just change colors here quick so we can keep everything straight. And I'm going to find the slope. I want to take this minus this, so I'm going to do 4 minus minus 6, oops, and then 
that's going to be over. I took the 4 first, so I need to take the negative 7 first. Minus 7, minus 3. Okay, so then go ahead and, and do that subtraction. 4 minus minus 6. Remember, minus a minus is a plus. So 4 plus 6 is 10. Over negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. And I simplify that, I get negative 1. That's my slope. Okay, now I'm kind of in the situation I was in in these problems over here. I have my slope, and not only do I have one point, I have two points. So I can pick out whichever one I want to use. Let's go ahead and fill one of those in. I want to use this one just because I do. Let's uh, put the points in. Y, in this case I picked out the negative 6, equals the slope, which is negative 1, times the x, which is 3. If we choose to use this y, we must use this x. Don't all of a sudden pick this x. We can't do that. We have to use the ordered pair. You can use either one, but you, have, you can only use one of them as a set. Okay, so then plus b, because we don't know our b, that's what we're looking for. Then go ahead and simplify and solve. So negative 6 equals negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 plus b subtract we've got the the negative 3 there so we're going to go ahead and add 3 to both sides negative 6 plus 3 is a negative 3 equals b now we've got our b and our m so we can write our equation we have y equals fill in the m negative 1 x remember I can write that just as a negative because if we don't write the coefficient it's a 1 and then the b is minus 3 so there we have it y equals negative x minus 3 that is the line that goes through those two points alright let's look at one more here this last one we have two points again so the first thing we need to do is find the slope again we use our formula right up here difference in the y's over the difference in the x's I'm just gonna take this one first again so 2 minus 3 over I took the 2 first so I have to take the 1 first 1 minus 5 go ahead and subtract I get 2 minus 3 is negative 1 over 1 minus 5 is 4 okay so now this is my slope so I have a slope and I've got some x's and y's to work with so I'm gonna fill them in I'm gonna take this one we have y is 2 equals my slope is negative 1 fourth times x which is 1 plus b simplify and solve 2 equals negative 1 fourth times 1 is just negative 1 fourth plus b then I go ahead and I add 1 fourth to both sides plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth and I find that B is equal to 2 and 1 fourth or we could say 2.25 if we want to go that way as a decimal either way is fine now I'm just gonna go ahead and write my equation so fill in my M and my B so Y equals m which we found to be negative one fourth x and then plus two and one fourth so there's my equation for a line that passes through the points one two and five three if we're asked to find the slope remember we take the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's if we're asked to write a linear equation given either two points or the slope in a point we can fill in what we know, solve for that other piece, and then pop the stuff back in to write our equation. I hope that helps. Good luck.